That is the last time I let her stay up on a Friday. She's exhausted, poor mite. I think she should stay in bed all day today. I'm not tired! Staying all day in the dumping ground, are you? We probably are, because your hopeless dad won't turn up again. Jenny! Dad and Carrie have arrived. Gotta go. <laughs> Sir, your turn. Blow. Huh. Huh? Saturday, remember? Water bombs, soapy slides on the lawn. Fun. We're going out of our hands. For a counsellor, we had an arrangement. Uh, uh, let's see. Go into the aquarium, seeing the sharks. Followed by me eating my own body weight in junk food. Followed by a movie. Or stay with a, a kiddie's paddling pool and a bottle of washing up liquid. I think not. When my mum comes here, she'll tear out that boring old lawn and put a proper swimming pool in. Here we go. She's got the biggest swimming pool in Hollywood. But it's true, honest. Yeah, I'm going to be next James Bond. <laughs> See ya. See ya. Your mate Cam not around this weekend? She's doing a stupid course on saving a giant tree whale or something. Why don't you go around to Ben's? His aunt and uncle have taken him out for the day because his parents have gone away for the weekend. Everyone's getting a fun day out except me. Pardon. <laughs> what do you fancy doing today? Don't mind. How about you and me take a little trip to the computer shop? I've got all the latest games. We could buy you some new music. That gives the money for CDs. Well, we'll put our thinking caps on while you get dressed. Oh, everything money can buy, but what made you happy when you were a kid? Hanging around with my dad on weekends. Will you play with me? Sorry, my arm might drop by in a helicopter to take me out for the day. And where is she going to land her helicopter? She's already put the pool in. You know what, Tracy Beaker? No one believes your stories. Right, that's it. Hey, 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 hey stop it. Uh, why don't you go outside and play, you two? I don't play. I do interesting things. Oh, just half an hour until Nathan gets here. <gasps> She's being mean to me. Can I have an ice cream? Nice try, no. Now, we don't eat between meals, do we? I don't! Ice cream? Find see! Me first! I bet right this minute Ben's aunt and uncle are organising the most exciting day out in the universe for him. Fishing with worms and camp stools by the canal like old people. I spent many happy hours fishing with my dad. 99. One hundred. Come in, ready or not. You watched me hide! No, I didn't. I just know the boring dumping ground hiding places. Count again. Then think of somewhere decent to hide. One, two, four, eleven, twelve, nineteen, seventy-nine, eighty-nine. Oh, I can't find.
find Dolly anywhere. I give up. This place needs a good clean. I told you we didn't have any fishing rods. So what else have you got planned? Tell you what. Instead of fishing, let's give this garage a good clean-up. We can chat while we work. Great. I'm just going to nip off to the toilet before we get started. Pika! You've got to help me! A bit clever, I thought. I suggested we clean the garage, give him a chance to open up to me. My friend Tracy just rang. She's coming round. Oh. oh. Tracy's cool. One of the staff at her place will bring her. Staff? She must be rich if her family has staff. Don't tell me. Slept in, didn't have time for breakfast. Hurry up, this is an emergency! I'm taking Tracy to Ben's. Uh, go and play with Dolly, will you? Where is she? In the garden. Play hide and seek. By yourself? No, with you. You'll find her in ten seconds. Madame. Oh, if you must drive people around in your disgusting old car, at least get it fixed. Hi, I'm Duke. The staff have to check everyone out before leaving me anywhere. It's very boring. You see, Duke, there's no Texas Chainsaw murderers around. And if that's what they drive, they don't need to kidnap me for ransom. You can go. She grows on you, honest. <laughs> Um, how many staff at your place? Three, four if Elaine comes. So your parents, they must have pretty important jobs. What? Household staff, security checks. Ben hasn't told you anything about me, has he? No. Right, my mum does have a very important job. Just in time. You've got no kids? No. Then listen and learn. Saturday isn't for cleaning out garages. Saturday is for F-U-N fun. Um, maybe Ben wants to clean the garage with his uncle. No. Uh, oh, um, I mean, I, I don't mind. I'll get cleaned up. So, where are we going? I like the beach. And you're a young lady who gets her own way. I take after my mother. She's an A-list movie megastar. When she's filming, she's friendly to the other actors, but she always gets the best there is. What did you say your mother's name was? I didn't. If the paparazzi found out I was her daughter, I wouldn't be able to move for cameras. So why don't you live in Hollywood with her? She wants me to have a normal life. Hollywood kids are sport brats. <sighs> right. Beach it is. Dolly? You're not bored yet. I can see you miles away. Got ya! Dolly? Dolly, game's over! <laughs> Come out now! Dolly? Jenny! Jenny! Tell me Dolly's in the house with you. No, she's with you. No! Money! Thanks. Come on, let's go. So that's what kids like. It's what Tracy likes. Obviously, Ben just goes along with her because of who she is. Tracy, I'm tired of hindsight. Jenny! You have got a lot of explaining to do, young lady. So have you. You said we didn't meet between meals. Oh. Tracy's having a great time, isn't she? That's the main thing. What? You don't have to do everything her way just because her mother is famous. She told you about a famous mother in Hollywood, right? 
We're trying to be understanding. But this day was supposed to be for you. Not for now, I insist. Come on. Right. You just hold it right there, young lady. No, don't. Let, let me explain. Ben is not your servant, and we are not your staff. You are a very spoiled and rude girl. She's a famous person's daughter. She'll get kidnapped out there. We'll be sued. We'll have cameras flashing in our faces for the rest of our lives. Get after her! You two have got worse imaginations than Tracy Beaker. Her mum isn't famous. But she said... You're right. I don't know anything about kids. All day. I'd rather stay here. Thanks. Ninety nine, a hundred, coming, ready or not. I didn't mean what I said. I'm really sorry. It's my fault. Sometimes I say dumb things. I'm going to the adventure park tomorrow. Would you like to come with us? Let's ask my staff, shall we? <laughs> A muscle. Wow, whose is that? Jasper's new one. Great. I told them to get a bigger car, so we're going to keep taking this all out. <laughs> Will you stay for supper? Um, yeah. We're having a barbecue. <laughs> so, where are we going? Do the other kids have to come? Tracy. Can you come in the office a moment, please? No little chats today, Elaine. I'm going out for a spin in my friend's new car. Tracy! We'll see you in a little while. Hey! You haven't told her. Good. It's better she hears about it here. We really want this. They want what? It's true. Ben's aunt and uncle want you to think about them maybe fostering you. Tracy! I can see this is a bit of a shock. Oh, thank you, Elaine, thank you. For realising at last that your job was to find me which good-looking foster parents. Oh, you need to talk to Cam about this fostering. She and Tracy are This has got nothing to do with Cam Lawson. I don't want her influencing Tracy. Are you making a mistake? It's my call. And don't you dare phone Cam behind my back. <laughs> we could spend a little time getting to know each other better. Oh, yeah, forgot adults like to think things over for years. Especially since we'd be going away together. We're going away? I had to tell everyone. Tracy! You're going too fast. One demerit point for running in the house. Can I go now? I mean, I want you to think very carefully about this fostering offer. OK, watch me. I'm thinking very carefully. On one hand, there's great foster parents with no other children who love me to bits, take me on holidays and spoil me rotten. On the other hand, there's the dumping ground, which is full of skanky kids I have to share everything with. Hmm, now that's a hard decision. Not! If this comes off, Tracy will be your new cousin, eh? We thought you'd be happy. I am. I'm very happy that you're taking my best friend hundreds of miles away to go and live in Scotland where I'll never get to see her. Hey! I've just come to tell you losers that I'm going on holiday with my brat new foster parents. They've just told me we're probably going to Florida.
Tracy Beaker getting fostered. Um, I thought you'd be pleased to see the back of her. Uh, fostering doesn't get rid of her. It just brings her back like a bad tempered boomerang. Every time. What makes them think they can cope? Even her writer friend Cam Lawson brought her back. Yeah. We could give them the Tracy Beaker treatment and see how we rate. Exploding onto your screens. The chaos it is, the full beaker. No. Really. We could test them out with stuff like patience and understanding. And Dolly can test their panic button. And if they're not up to the challenge, Tracy finds out now and doesn't get hurt. Yeah. Um, I thought you didn't care. I, I don't. The other kids are mad with jealousy. Make out to them, you're going to buy me heaps of stuff. Actually, he's been looking for an excuse to buy the latest computer game. Oh, this is going to be great. And going to Scotland? You wouldn't mind? Scotland? Well, I'd prefer to go somewhere hot with the beach and... Scotland it is, I'm afraid. It'll be great. We can check out the Loch Ness Monster's hangout. <laughs> It's certainly going to be entertaining living with Tracy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, especially when the fire brigade comes. That's always a laugh. Fire brigade? Didn't you know? Tracy set fire to her last foster mother's house. Was anyone hurt? Only Tracy's feelings. She was dumped back in the dumping ground. She's emotionally scarred now. Sets fire to everywhere she goes. Tragic. Remind me to increase the house insurance. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Try and get Tracy Foster behind my back. Jenny called you. She had no right. How to... could you do that? Tracy and I are. We lived together. You didn't want her. You sent her back. I had every right to send her to Scotland. She's not a parcel. She's my. Your what? My. Exactly. We'll discuss this later. I've got an appointment. Generosity next. Justine, you. Generosity's mine. Can I go next? Hey, it's my turn next. You owe me. Pardon? For taking my best friend out of the dumping ground. I thought Ben was Tracy's best friend. I've got behaviour problems. Losing my only friend could set me off if I don't get compensation. Pay up, Jasp. We don't want innocent children suffering because of us. Oh, um, listen. You better hurry. The ice cream van. Kate can't resist ice cream, can you, sweetheart? <laughs> Get enough for everyone. I will. Throw out. Keep. Cam. Generosity. Jack. And they didn't blab to Jenny. Trustworthy. Hey, it's my turn to be trustworthy. Now is it my turn? OK, OK, cool it. We'll have to spread it out or they'll get suspicious. I won't let them foster me if you don't want me to. You know I can't give you what they can. I don't need lots of stuff. All I ever wanted was for you to... I couldn't love you more if I was your mum. I wish I could say, let's try again, but I'm sorry. It's OK. I do want to be your friend, always. I'll be downstairs.
was staying for lunch. Go and meet King Jasper. Panic button, Dolly. You're on. Hey, don't blow a valve. You can do sense of humor next. Jasper, Kate, meet Cam Lawson. She used to uh, look after Tracy for a while. We're great friends. So, you're the foster mother who brought Tracy back here. What Kate means is we've become very fond of Tracy, but she is a challenge. Maybe you could give us a few survival tips. What's the matter, love? Are you hurt? you ungrateful. Oh, you're all just jealous. Jealous of Boomerang Beaker? Oh, it's flying back to the dumping ground. Justine. Aww. Tracy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Now it's definitely my turn. Sense of humor. Oh. 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 Congratulations. You're more than a match for the beaker. She's yours. No! Tracy, I don't want you to go with them to Scotland. Is that what you've been in the snitch about all day? Mm. But you can come with us, and so can you, Cam? There's loads of room in the new car. Can they? Please, it'd be fantastic. Hi, everybody. Ugh. Why are you all wet? You'd regret it later. Uh, I wouldn't. What's wrong? Oh, you idiot! You didn't tell Tracy she was going to live in Scotland. If I go to live in Scotland, I won't get to see you anymore. If you want to stay with your friends, with Cam, we'll understand. But I don't know what to do. Tell me what to do. If you were a true friend, you'd tell me what to do. You are getting a very special kid. You better give her everything she's ever dreamed of. Or you'll have me to answer to. and all they cracked up to be. You prove that. <sighs> I am going to go to Scotland with Kate and Jasper. For a holiday. Then I'm coming back home to the dumping ground. Looks like you're stuck with me now. 